Hi there, it's Monica from EDAC. Today I'm excited to share my two favorite SketchUp styles which I use all the time to show my designs in the best possible way. SketchUp styles are essential for making your designs clear and easy to understand. The first style will be created for perspective views, making your designs look attractive with soft edges and natural light. The second style will be tailored for technical drawings, perfect for detailed plans like electrical or lighting layouts. Ready to get started? Let's begin! First things first. We need to set up an attractive view. I will create a perspective view from inside the building to make it visually appealing. To achieve this, there are a few key steps to keep in mind. First, the field of view is best set between 40 and 60 degrees, with around 50 degrees preferred for a natural and balanced view. Second, two-point perspective in SketchUp keeps vertical lines parallel, making the model look more realistic and visually attractive. When it's done, we can move on to SketchUp styles. On the right side, on the default tray, you will find styles. If you don't see it, remember you can toggle windows on and off by going to Window tab and selecting Default Tray. In the Select tab, you will find a variety of styles to choose from. Default styles are the most common, but if you switch the category to Assorted Styles, you will discover unique and even extravagant options. Some styles here can give the impression that I drew them manually with a pencil. I switch back to Default Styles. From there, I will create my own style specifically for perspective views. I will click on the icon to create a new style and then rename it, for example, to color style. It's important to click on the arrows over here to save any changes in the style settings. Let's move on to the edit tab. I click on the edge settings where I have both edges and profiles selected. I turn off profiles, which I find unnecessary, especially since profiles and shadows can slow down SketchUp. I choose to keep only edges, which now appear much smoother. Next, I adjust the color of the edges. I typically set this color to dark gray, making them even softer than before. I really like how it looks. And then go to the face settings. I set the style to shaded with textures, which is my favorite one. You can also consider shaded without textures, but I prefer the previous option. In SketchUp 2024, there is a new ambient occlusion option that adds a soft shadow to your view. I really like this option, so I turned it on. I set small distances and low intensity to avoid overusing the effect. Next, I go to the background settings. I set the background color to white and turn off the sky and ground options as I don't want the client to be distracted by the view outside the window. I skip the watermark settings and move on to the modeling settings. Here I turn off the visibility of guides, model axis and section planes. That's it, the first style is created. The view looks much better than before. Let's create a second style for technical drawings. Before I do that, I will create a view using a section plane. I will choose a section toolbar, click on the section plane icon and create a section. Then I will right click on the section plane and choose a line view. Next, I will turn off display section planes, turn on display section cuts and section fill. Change the camera to parallel projection and it's done. I create a new style and name it black and white style. Let's start with the edge settings. This time I turn off edges to reduce the number of lines in the view. I turn on profiles with a thickness value of 1 and leave the edges in dark grey color. Remember, if the profiles option is turned on, your SketchUp may work slower, so you can add this profile option at the end before exporting. Depending on the models in your scene, choose between profiles and edges based on what looks best. Next, I move to face settings and turn on the hidden line style so all elements appear white. I turn off ambient occlusion because it's not necessary for this style. I keep the background settings as I set them in the previous style and move on to the modeling settings. 
Remember to uncheck guides, model axis and section planes and check section cuts and section fills. I changed the color of the section fill to gray and reduced the thickness of section line width to one. Optionally, you can also adjust the color of the section lines. Update the style with these changes. There you have it! We've created a second style for technical drawings. If you prefer color to the drawings, create a new style with the settings of a black and white style. And in the face settings, choose display shaded using textures. That's it! This is a third additional color style for 2D drawings. Feel free to play around with the styles, adjust the settings and explore different combinations to find your favorite one. Having these styles, you can create attractive presentation for your client with perspectives, floor plans and 2D views. You can use SketchUp layout to add dimensions, symbols and labels to fully complete your presentations. What's your favorite style in SketchUp? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. If you want to learn more about SketchUp, check out my website edac.org. You will find there many free articles, courses, free resources. See you there. Bye.